This dog wouldn't stop digging up his owner's tomb. What he did next will break your heart. Dogs are one of the most loyal creatures on this earth. They will be there for you no matter what. They will be there through thick and thin, cheering you up in the hard times and celebrating with you in the good. Usually, it's humans who are left heartbroken as they have to say goodbye to their four-legged friends. So, when a human dies first, it's a lot harder for the dog to understand where their master has gone, as this next heartbreaking story shows. This story happened back in 2019 in the county of Fu Ping in China's Shanxi province. A 12-year-old dog called Huzi and his owner had lived in the province for their entire lives. The dog's owner, an elderly man who was fondly called Grandpa Wu by those close to him, had found Huzi when the pup was just two years old. The man had instantly fallen in love with the animal and had taken him home with him. The two spent ten wonderful years together, growing as close as an owner and his dog could. They loved going for long walks together and could often be found sitting on the sofa watching TV in the evening. As well as that, the adorable little pup would make sure to always sleep on his owner's bed, as if protecting him throughout the night from anything or anyone who might want to do him harm. The two were incredibly close, and Huzi couldn't possibly love his human any more than he already did. The canine had originally been born on the streets and was a stray pup, which definitely isn't uncommon in China. With there being over 1.4 billion Chinese people alive in 2016, it wasn't uncommon for a lot of these people to want animal companions in order to provide them with love and comfort. Unfortunately, like in any society, there will always be those who will willfully leave their adorable pets on the streets to fend for themselves. In China, there are over 40 million stray dogs. That's 20% of the global total, according to data from the World Health Organization. Unfortunately, Huzi was one of these strays. His mother had been a loyal and loving dog who had once been owned by a family of her own. However, she had been abandoned on the streets when the family moved away to a new home that didn't allow pets. Having been left to fend for herself, the poor pup eventually became pregnant. She looked after her litter of pups as best as she could. However, sadly, one day she was hit by a car and passed away. Huzi, although he didn't have that name at the time, soon learned the ways of the street and how to scavenge for food. But the little pup seemed to love people more than anything. Every time he ventured out into the streets, the canine would try to get as much attention as he could off of the passers-by. He would roll over and ask for a fuss, or he would lean against their legs, hoping that someone would lean down and give him a pet on the head. Little did the pup know, though, that by doing this, he would change his entire life. It had started as an ordinary day. The dog woke up as usual and made his way onto the streets in search of some food. As he was walking past a little park, he came across Grandpa Wu, who was sitting on a nearby bench feeding some ducks some bread. The boy approached the elderly man and patiently sat by his feet. The animal then started to whine and beg for some of the bread. Grandpa Wu immediately noticed his new companion and felt sorry for the little pup. The old man could clearly see that the dog was a stray, as he was very skinny and his fur was riddled with fleas. However, instead of shooing the dog away, he broke off a piece of bread and gently held it out for the animal to take it. The dog ate the bread quickly, and Grandpa Wu laughed as the pup instantly began begging for more. After sharing the entire loaf with the canine, Grandpa Wu knew that he couldn't simply leave the pup on his own. Instead, he gave the dog a big fuss and encouraged him to walk home with him. Once at his home, the elderly man named the dog Huzi and officially adopted him as his new pet. The canine couldn't believe it and was happier than he had ever been before. The two quickly settled into a routine and lived that way for the next 10 years. However, one day, the inevitable happened. Grandpa Wu had been fairly old when he had first discovered Huzi, and unfortunately, after 10 wonderful years together, the elderly man fell ill. His family tried to get him help at the local hospital, but the sickness was too much, and Grandpa Wu sadly passed away. After the elderly man died, Huzi's personality completely changed. 
the fun-loving and excitable pup who loved to be fussed and to play with anyone who was willing to became incredibly depressed. The canine actually stopped eating and drinking for three days straight after the man's death. Worried, the elderly man's daughter didn't know what to do to help the heartbroken dog. She knew that if the animal didn't start eating again soon, then he would need to be taken to the vets, otherwise he would get seriously ill. Not knowing what else to do, the woman decided to take Hoozy to Grandpa Wu's grave. She hoped that by showing the dog what had happened to the elderly man, the canine would be able to process his grief and get over his depression. Once the two were at the graveyard, the woman took Hoozy over to her father's grave. At first, the dog didn't know what to make of it. He began to sniff around, as if trying to figure out what it was. However, it wasn't long before the clever canine worked out that he was where his former master was resting forever. What he did next shocked the daughter. After walking around the grave a few times, Hoozy then lay down right on top of it, we went to the tomb together, said the daughter in an interview. He walked around the tomb a few times and then lay there without moving. I saw him starting to tear and he refused to leave when we called him. Hoozy didn't listen as the daughter called for him. Instead, the dog then started to dig. It was as if the canine wanted to try and unearth his former master in the hopes that he would come back. Sadly, as everybody knows, this wasn't possible. After realizing that digging wouldn't help, the dog then lay back down on top of the grave. It was at that moment that the daughter thought she saw Hoozy tear up, as if crying at the fact that he would never get to see his old master alive again. She was really shocked by the dog's behavior, and she tried to call the canine over to her once more, but the dog didn't want to leave. Not knowing what else to do, the daughter decided to leave the dog at the grave for a few hours in the hope that it would somehow help the pup to move on. Hoozy lay on Grandpa Wu's grave for three hours before the daughter returned. During this time, the canine softly cried as if he was grieving the loss of his master. However, when the daughter came back to pick him up, the canine got up and walked over to her when she called. It seemed as if the pup had finally grieved as he wanted to. Now that he knew for certain that his master wasn't coming back, he was ready to continue living his life, although he wouldn't be half as happy as he had been. The pup could only hope that when it was his time to pass on, that he would get to be reunited with his master in the afterlife so they could always play together. What a sad but heartwarming story. It just goes to show that humans aren't the only ones who can feel distraught over the death of their companions. Animals love their humans just as much and can feel just as deeply too. Let me know what you thought of this video in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more incredible content.